really extra special time in Sunday school. Oh, I got to tell you, I'm changing things up a bit. I want you to sit on the steps, and I am going to sit on that ground today. Let me move this drum out of the way here. That was so awesome to hear our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders drumming along. So you guys find room on the steps or in front, and I will be here. And that's because I have a special job to ask you guys to do today. So, like I was saying, today is Pentecost. It's a special day in the church. We celebrate the Holy Spirit's arrival. We celebrate the birthday of the church. And so that's why we see so much red. It's a color of the Holy Spirit. And this red book that I have to share with you today is about the Holy Spirit's arrival. It's called Coming and Going at Pentecost. So I'm going to read this book to you, but I would like you to do something as I read. You see here the word come, the word go, right here and right here. So I'm going to give you a card. If I give you a red come card, then when you hear the word come in the story, hold up your card. If I give you a blue go card, then when you hear the word go in the story, hold up your go card. The Holy Spirit does both of these for us calls us to come and sends us to go. We're going to put them together in our story. So let me pass these out to you. You might get a go. You might get a come. But it'll be fun for the whole church to see these up when the special words are said. So let me make sure that everybody gets one. Again, you might get a red for come. You might get a blue for go. Here you are. And then when you hear your word in the story, you can hold that up high. There we go. We had a really special time celebrating the Holy Spirit in Sunday school today with a magic show that amazed us. And so we continue some amazement here in worship. Let's read the story together. Coming and going at Pentecost. It goes like this. Jesus made a promise to his disciples. He said, though I must go to heaven soon, the Holy Spirit will come. So, on that day of Pentecost, the disciples and other believers had come together in one place. And they heard a strong wind go through the room like it was coming from heaven. And it filled the whole house. It could be heard even on the streets. And then they saw flames like fire come to rest over each of their heads. And they knew what it meant. It meant that the Holy Spirit had come. Because of this, the disciples began speaking different languages. These languages had never been heard before. It was a miracle. And outside of the house, a big crowd started to come together. And the people were going all over the world with these different languages. They were amazed to hear their own language coming from that house. What's happening, some of the people asked. They did not want to go home without an answer. So Jesus' disciple, Peter, decided to go and talk to them. And standing with the other disciples, he spoke words that had come from the Holy Spirit. And he said to the people that were there, the Holy Spirit has come to share Jesus' love and forgiveness. God wants you to believe in it and be baptized. And so many people believed what Peter said that day. The Holy Spirit led 3,000 people to come to faith and be baptized, and through them, God's word began to go out to the rest of the world. And on our last page of this book here, you see a church today, because God does come to us also with his forgiveness today. And he wants us to go and tell everyone about his amazing love. The Holy Spirit comes today to us here at St. Paul. And we, because of God, can go and tell others about Jesus. And here we see a baptism pictured. And we're going to have baptisms today of some of the friends sitting among you right now. And that is something that the Holy Spirit makes possible. So thank you, boys and girls, for making that story really come to life by having those cards. You can keep those cards. You can color on them. You can hang it somewhere in your house if you want a reminder of how the Holy Spirit is with you. 
and alive here at this church. Next, we're going to say a prayer, and then I will send you back, too, with a kid's bulletin on the closest thing to red we could get, so you see that special color change. Let's say a prayer, and everybody can repeat after me, please. The congregation's invited to as well. Let us pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For coming to us. For coming to us. Help us go out. Help us go out. With your power. With your power. Amen. So, boys and girls, come and take a bulletin before you go back to your seat. And you can keep your card if you want to. You can, let me move these out of your way. There you go. You can keep it if you want. There's kids' bulletins. How about here? Could you pass?